Hey, this is Nick Florida's New Relic, and I'm going to show you how to mash up some pretty cool tech, New Relic, for Windows Azure websites and, of course, Windows Azure websites. Uh, it's relatively easy to get started. Uh, this assumes, of course, you have a Azure account and uh, just a means to be able to build and deploy applications. So let me go ahead and get started with that. So I've already logged into my Azure portal, and what I want to do is I want to get started here by clicking on an add-on. Uh, we already have one out here, but I'm going to go ahead and add a new one just to kind of show you so you can get an idea of what that looks like. So we're going to choose the store. And of course, you can sign up through our website as well. Either way, newrelic.com or through here. Uh, we're going to click New Relic. And we're just going to go with the standard free. And let's go ahead and name it uh, New Relic Azure Websites. Of course, you can name it anything you would like, but as we click through on these things, um, you'll notice that it's just a, it's a zero dollar purchase, and it's uh, free until we until you or if you want to upgrade, you can you can do that as well. And of course, all the pricing was listed on the add-on. So we're going to let that spin up. Another thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to create a brand new website, and we're going to name it New Relic. Choose the West Region. Let's go ahead and create that. Okay, so while that's baking, I'm going to come out here and grab some code. What we have um, is a .NET Kata, and this one in particular helps you think of performance as a feature. And so we're going to go ahead and use that one real quick and see if we can't get that deployed to the cloud. All right. So let's go ahead and get in that directory here and see if we can do something with this. Let's open up the solution. So while that's opening up, let's go check out our website and see if we've got that cooked. Yeah. So right now uh, we have a website. We just added our add-on. So now what we're going to do is we're going to add the NuGet package to our solution. It's really easy to do that. You just open up tools. And the package manager console. Of course, you can do it a couple of different ways. This is one of them. So we're going to do install package, new relic, Azure websites. Now it's going to ask you for your license key, and you can get that license key by going back to the management portal, clicking on the add-in you just created and clicking Connection Info. We'll just grab that license key real quick and put it in the dialog. All right, so now we're good to go on that front. There's another step that we need to kind of do, and that's to get some environment variables for the profiler on your Azure website. There's many ways you can do that. You can, of course, go out here to the management portal, click on your website, and click configure. You can come down here and add these manually. We're going to add them through a script which is available to you if you just go to github.com forward slash new relic and look for the NuGet package. Um, you'll find this script in that repo and that's all I'm going to run. I'll show you in just a moment what's that, what that script is doing. So we're going to type in the app name that we actually created for our website which just happens to be new relic. So while that's doing that, let me go ahead and open that file to show you what that script does. In here you see it just accepts the parameter of app name and then of course uses the uh, Azure CLI command line interface and calls your site to add those configurations. Let's see if that's done. Okay, it's done. Let's go out to the management portal. Go ahead and refresh this guy and see if those were added. Right. And sure enough, they were. And the thing to note here is, is that just like any other environment, these environment, these app settings are called here, but they're, they actually translate to environment variables in your running instance. So your Azure website, when it runs, it loads all these environment variables into it, and these are actually included in those environment variables. 
as a process, those things, these things, these four environment variables have not actually been loaded yet. So what we need to do is we actually need to restart the process uh, real quick. And now they should be loaded in so that they'll be ready for when we deploy our new site. So we've got all the, we got the package installed. We've got a new app generated. We've got a website. We've got our add-on. I think we're ready to go. So let's go ahead and try to publish this guy. And I'm going to import just from an existing website. In fact, the one that we just created. Select New Relic. Click OK. Validate the connection. And publish. Okay, so there we go. As you see, the Kata site is up and running, and you can kind of navigate around and find a little more information about the Kata or New Relic, for instance. And I'm just going to click around here to just gather a little bit more information about uh, the site and, and have that sent over to New Relic. Um, and again, the Kata, is the, the purpose of the Kata is actually to um, just really help you exercise your programming skills. This Again, this particular one is around helping you think uh, of performance as a, as a feature of your of your code. And so there's all sorts of neat stuff like a, like a going to get tweets and, and formatting and, and actually optimizing that call out. Um, you have uh, a request loops, all sorts of fun, real fun stuff that you can do. Um, there's stuff that intentionally breaks, uh, bugs that you have to go hunt down, all of which you can actually find um, by using New Relic. So let's hop over to the management portal and let's go to New Relic. You can do that by going down to your, your um, add-ons again, clicking on the actual add-on, and then just mashing Manage. Okay, so as you can see, we've already started collecting information about our website. Some interesting things. Uh, I'm just going to run through a few of them real quick. So you notice we can actually look at a full stack trace on what is actually happening on any given page that we're clicking. We can drill into the details and get a stack trace here as well, uh, just so we can kind of attack this code a little better. This is the loop. There's a, there's a little goodie hidden inside there that uh, will be fun to figure out. Uh, we can come back here and see if we uh, have any errors, which I'm sure we do. And sure enough, we do. It looks like we've got a problem with our view model. Um, you can get all that information just by clicking through and finding out. Sure enough, there's something in there that uh, we don't actually have in our model. Uh, another interesting point is the map, the app map, which is really fun to look at. You can get an idea of where your time is being spent, even when you call external services which uh, can be tremendously helpful. And of course, we have our end user performance where you can actually go and see um, what type of uh, performance your front end code is getting as well. Uh, so that's, that's New Relic and Windows Azure websites in a nutshell. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. You can always go out and get more information from newrelic.com forward slash Azure. And you can, of course, get the Kata code that I used here from GitHub. Uh, just go to the New Relic repo, and it's the new relic.net Kata, and download that as well, just if you want to flex uh, some programming muscle. So just to recap, we went and created a, an add-on. We created a brand new Azure website. We grabbed some code from GitHub and added a NuGet package to it, New Relic and deployed that. And now we've got a much better understanding of what our app is doing and why and where our performance bottlenecks are.